Greetings. My name is Jennifer Kingsley Wilson. I'm the CEO of Arms Rx. We're a pharmacy benefit management consulting company. Have you had time to keep up with what's going on in the pharmacy benefit management industry? Last year was stagnant. Nobody knew what was going on. Well, while that was happening, the pharmacy benefit management industry was swinging. Health reform has been so time consuming, it's taken every ounce of your energy as a consultant and a broker to try to figure out what's actually happening and what's not happening. The last 18 months have been very, very interesting. Contracts, if they haven't been renegotiated, they're out of date. We have AWP pricing, the way that the generics are being guaranteed. They happen to pay 100% of the rebates now. There's so much that has changed, and there's so many things to keep up with. It's hard. When the price index changed with AWP, there were some PBM vendors out there that didn't change a thing, while others actually did change to the price index. So when you're putting your clients out to bid, or you're just basically getting some quotes from some different vendors, they're not the same. You can't possibly put them on a spreadsheet and do a calculation to try to determine what's going to be the best scenario for your clients. The PBMs that didn't change the price index, their quote looks like it's more aggressive, like it's a better deal for your clients. And WAC, wholesale acquisition cost, you look at those numbers on a spreadsheet, they're entirely different. If you have WAC plus 12, what does that equate to? It'll make you dizzy. It's very, very difficult to try to determine all these pricing structures. There's another change that you might want to be made aware of, and that's some of the ways that the PBMs are treating generic drugs. The PBMs now have this fine language in their contracts describing what their generic guarantees are based on. Some of these things sound identical, but again, they're vastly different, and again, could cost your clients thousands of dollars, millions of dollars if it's a large client. Rebates are the anomaly. The PBMs now, since transparency has come about, they're having to pay 100% of the rebates. Well, that's tapping into their revenue stream. So they've found new ways to generate revenue based on rebates. Prescription drug and pharmacy benefit, when you're dealing with it on a self-funded basis, doesn't have all the same parameters as it does on a fully insured basis. But as we know, the industry is changing. And a lot of folks, they're exploring self-funded. And it's very important to know these aspects because they are vastly different. For you to be your client's advocate, it's important to try to look under the hood as much as you possibly can to find the answers to these because it could cost your clients a lot of money. Thanks for listening. I'm Jennifer Kingsley Wilson with ArmsRx.